So why don't we get started and bring up on stage our director, Director Dan Kim. Thanks, Jordan. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm just really happy to be here with all of you today to celebrate what we've done at DGS in 2017. This has been a year of a lot of unforeseen challenges in the form of natural and environmental disasters. At the same time, we've worked really hard this year and made significant progress on some really high profile projects that have been in the works over the past several years. Through it all, DGS has had numerous opportunities to show what we're made of. I'm really proud of leading a team of people who exhibit compassion and selflessness in times of trial. In your day-to-day -day work, you've shown commitment to quality pro by providing service that's been excellent for our customers and for stakeholders. And you've helped further DGS's mission by working together to forge the next steps in our journey. Steps that will be felt for years to come as our efforts take shape in the form of new buildings, better processes, and progressive and sustainable practices that will make the state better for future generations. Now, we can't give everyone here an award. I wish we could. <laughs> uh, but I just want you to all know that your work is really vital to what we do at DGS. And I want to thank all of you for that. Today, we celebrate DGS's values, our IACID values of integrity, accountability, communication, excellence, innovation, and teamwork. We will recognize people who are nominated by you, by you, you our, uh, their, their peers, and chosen by the values team to, for going above and beyond as they exhibit these values. I really find this ceremony inspiring every year. It's great to see these specific examples of DGS values throughout our organization. I hope you enjoy this program just as much as I do. Uh, but I just want to, without any further ado, introduce Jordan Aquino and Jeanette Cheng. They're from our DGS values team. Take it away. Good morning, everybody, and officially welcome to the annual DGS Values Awards. I'm Jordan Aquino, outgoing chair of the values team. I'm Jeanette Chain, the incoming values chair. We'd like to thank everyone joining us today here at the Ziggurat and watching Facebook Live. We are here, we are also recording the ceremony so that those who can't be here today are able to watch it later. Today, we celebrate those employees who exemplify excellence, DGS excellence in 2017. Here's a, um, a little explanation of how we arrived at today's ceremony. So the Values Awards program was the idea of the Values team members and others who wanted staff to be recognized for their achievement. DGS leadership supported a DGS Values Award program that would be peer-driven with nominations from your peers with evaluations and selection done by your peers on the Values team. This year's Values Award, uh, team received more than 70 nominations. These nominations were scrubbed so that the nominees and their divisions couldn't be identified by the Values team members. And then each Values team member carefully scored each nomination and then all the scores were averaged together. Then during a special meeting, the values team met, it was a spirited discussion, mm -hmm. and uh, we compared scores and determined the top nominations to receive an award, either by individuals or by a team. The DGS Values Award acknowledged the exceptional performance of individuals and teams who are receiving them. Our goal is always excellence in the business of government, and these winners certainly display that. Our department's mission is simple, yet critical. We deliver results by providing timely, cost-effective services and products that are support our customers. Each of us, in our own way, works to fulfill this mission every day. Each time you take an extra step to provide excellent service, you illustrate that commitment to our mission and our core values. The honorees recognized today are an inspiration, and we hope you are as impressed by them as we were. And now, it's time to introduce our winners. Our first award goes to someone who spent many years in the private sector, where he designed and built automated digital control systems for commercial and industrial buildings. Currently a stationary engineer for DGS, this awardee voluntarily took on a project that was outside of his regular duties to create an automated process control system for the California Department of Agriculture. 
laboratory greenhouses in Sacramento, and he did it all without any effect on his regular job duties. His nominator said that when food and agriculture requested a new system to replace the existing one that was aging and beyond repair, they told him that what a commercially engineered system would cost. It would be tens or possibly even hundreds of thousands of dollars. This awardee was able to design and build the automated control system for the first greenhouse for at a cost of about $4,000 at, at 40 hours of his labor time. After Food and Agriculture evaluated his work and approved his work, they commissioned him to create the automated controls for the remaining three greenhouses, requi requiring only 24 hours of labor for each one. The food and agriculture scientist wrote a letter to this awardee supervisor saying that he has designed a system for controlling the environmental conditions in the greenhouses that, that is state of the art. The computerized control he created will all function together and will allow us not to worry about a system failure. This person's nominator said that his innovative design and expert in installation allows food and agriculture's greenhouses to be fully functional and doing the important research they were intended for. Time on the lights. Benny Karagani is a stationary engineer with the Facilities Management Division and he maintains multiple facilities throughout the Sacramento area. Benny has an interesting story. He was actually a, an engineering student in Iran when his education was interrupted by the uh, 1979 Iranian Revolution and at that point he left the country and made his way to the United States and luckily for us he ended up here with DGS. Stationary engineers typically repair and program and replace control systems, but uh, in this case, Benny actually designed this system from the ground up. When Benny came on board, he, he realized what we needed in order to uh, maintain this facility. Things were falling apart. The plumbing, electrical, heating, lighting, everything was done mechanically. It required a lot of hands-on. People had to maintain everything. Benny's contribution has been to update everything and make it so that everything is automated. A lot of what Benny does, the projects he does for our various customers, he actually does at home on his own time. For him, this is actually fun. This is what he really enjoys doing and he's just going to do it. What Benny has done with DGS has is, is helped us considerably in order to do our job. On top of that, Benny's a nice guy. me joining in congratulating, congratulating Benny Caragani, winner of the 2017 DGS Values Award. Our next award recipient works in the direct construction unit, where she built a reputation of knowledge and dependability, as well as an ability to balance fiscal and budgeting responsibilities. <laughs> Over the past year, DCU has embarked on an effort to eliminate backlog, and this awardee was in instrumental in identifying and coordinating 98% of these overdue projects. She has coordinated, also coordinated more than $10 million in funding for 39 projects during the 2016-17 fiscal year and she created a dashboard to provide project details and track projects from start to completion. One of her nominators states that the individual independently determines what action is appropriate and ensures no rules or policies are violated. She makes every effort to do what is right for the good of the department and the state. Hey Alex, so the GS100s were processed. You can go ahead and move the time from overhead into the project. Lori Medina, financial analyst of Direct Construction Unit, we'll is deserving of the DGS Values Award because she demonstrates excellence in budgetary responsibilities. 
Lori created the famous direct construction unit dashboard, which provides project details and necessary tracking of direct construction unit project funding, project status, and the project closeout and acceptance. Lori was instrumental in identifying and coordinating the completion of 100% of direct construction units overdue projects. Lori is deserving of the DGS Values Award as she is an exceptional team player. Hi Sergio, this is Lori. I was giving you a call regarding the DOR project. She facilitates our administrative functions between our construction team and the headquarters administrative function, which is certainly a integral part in the success of the direct construction unit. Lori provides accountability on Marky, all the expenditure reports and budget information that she provides to us. She has a pleasant personality and always dependable and knowledgeable with her technical abilities to assist us at any time. She is a valuable part of our team. Please join me in congratulating Lori Medina, winner of the 2017 DGS Values Award. Next up is a man who makes a big impact in a small office, the Building Standards Commission. They're a handful of employees staff a commission that establish rules for buildings throughout the state. High stakes and high profile role that requires a great deal of technical knowledge and political savvy. This awardee was nominated by someone here at headquarters who relies upon his expertise. The nominator said, the diversity and the magnitude of work this person takes on is incredible. From drafting budget change proposals, to reviewing legislation, to processing regulations that are submitted on an ongoing 18-month cycle, he is consistently being pulled in a million different directions. This awardee takes in, in all strides, working smartly by actively listening, and asking, asking the right questions to ensure that his work product is thorough, well-written, and full of reliable information. And I'm gonna work on a sea war, and uh, I'll definitely need uh, both of your guidance on that. Alex Hunter is our legislative um, analyst really for the Building Standards Commission. He is completely deserving of this award for his communication skills. He communicates well not only with staff but with our commissioners, other state agencies, and of course the public. Another value Alex excels at is teamwork, whether it is providing information for our newsletter, working on the website, or helping with building regulations. Alex has been a huge asset working for our office and it's been a great pleasure working with him. He has been diverse in what he's been able to do for our office. He has done things from legislative analysis, budget change proposals, education and outreach, and then when we were short-staffed with our rulemaking, he was able to dive in and start doing rulemaking with us. Alex is an extraordinary employee and we are honored to have him on our team. It is my pleasure and honor to invite Alex Hunter to the stage to receive the 2017 DGS Values Award. Our next award goes to a pair of gentlemen who spend most of their time in the field in Southern California and in the Bay Area, assisting administrative law judges from the Office of Administrative Hearings, as well as other remote DGS staff with their information technology needs. The first of these two awardees supports the Office of Administrative Hearings in Oakland. According to the administrative law judge who made the nomination, this person took it upon himself to learn OAH's digital recording system and has become indispensable. When judges are out in the field conducting hearings and the system doesn't cooperate, this nominee is immediately responsive and respectful, doing what it takes to solve the problem. The other awardee supports the OAH office in San Diego and the Division of the State Architect's office in Rancho Bernardo. He too is known for being extremely responsive, says the nominator. He makes time for us by either coming to the office or accessing remotely. 
Both nominees who work for the Enterprise Technology Solutions Division are distinguished by the fact that they take personal responsibility and follow through with all requests. The nominator says both awardees respect the fact that our employees have worked to complete and need technology to be functioning to get their work done. They really feel like they're part of our team. I heard you're having a problem with your keyboard. Yeah, so, like, Adam Ibarra provides IT support so, for the Office of Administrative yes. Hearings in the Oakland office particularly, but he also provides support across the state for our five other offices. Adam is the guy who picks up the phone and says, what can I do to help you, Judge? And he's in your office in three minutes and he's making everything right. If I don't have the tools to do my job as a judge, I can't work. And the public's impacted by that. And he always had a solution ready at hand to solve the problem to get me back into the hearing room to do my job. Adam demonstrates together, teamwork um, better than you, anyone uh, I've ever known. Adam also demonstrates innovation. We record our hearings on a system called For the Record Gold. Quite often it fails when we're on the road. Adam developed the expertise to understand this program from start to finish and to be able to troubleshoot Adam now is the coordinator statewide for all of our judges for For the Record. That means he provides support for over 80 administrative law judges when we record. If something goes wrong, we call Adam. How can I help you, Karen? My screens are too bright. Gilbert Salinas oh, is part of the team of IT support people for our Office of Administrative Hearings in our San Diego office. And he deserves this award so much because he's always there to help us out. He responds so quickly when we need his help. He has to cover two offices in San Diego that are about 30 miles apart. When we need him, he's always there with innovation, with the most integrity, and the most follow-through of anybody I've ever seen. And what's great about Gilbert is that he has such a calm and gentle approach and he's so good at communicating. A lot of the people that need IT help don't speak the language, so the, the people that are in IT support have to listen to what we need, but they have to translate it into the, what, what needs to be done in the technology, and he's great at that. And people here just love him because he, um, he has a very gentle uh, approach and uh, is so focused on customer service that um, it just makes it a pleasure to work with him. Please help me welcome uh, Adam Ibarra and Gilbert Salinas. The next nominee has been part of some major initiatives at DGS. The project for which he is nominated is no exception. The DGS website is in the midst of a complete overhaul, a process that requires collaboration from every corner of the department. It involves massive amount of organization and ability to lead a team of staff from all levels with varied priorities. According to the nomination we received, this, this person has gone out of his way to develop and provide excellent resources for the project. These have been instrumental in keeping the project on track and easy to understand. With a knack for translating complicated technical details into terms everyone can understand, and with a seemingly well, endless well of patience, this winner has actually since been promoted to a different role in enterprise technology solutions. But his meticulous planning and organizational skills lay the groundwork for a smooth and successful website w redesign. Every site we would have to assess whether or not there was coverage for the networking equipment. Matt like Walters in is a project program. manager um, in Enterprise Technology the Solutions. Solutions. He's particularly deserving of this award as he exhibits many of the values that we hold at DGS. One so in particular that comes to mind for me um, is excellence. You can always count on Matt to deliver in a quality fashion. He spends quite a bit of time making sure that he completely understands his project, understands the risk, 
Parks appropriately elevates them. He's worked on a number of our infrastructure projects and has shown a lot of aptitude when it comes to getting into the details that make a successful infrastructure project. It'll be decommissioned with the equipment. The whole thing. Matt's been working on the new website redesign. He was working on the request for offer. It was incredibly complicated. Nobody, though, was better suited to work on it than Matt because of his attention to detail, because of his stick to itness. He was able to work us through some very sticky situations to put together a successful contract. He uncovers all of the details to make sure that we can deliver a quality product at the end of the day. Matt also excels in communication, making sure that all the stakeholders understand what is going on with the project. People enjoy working with Matt because of his wonderful attitude and his drive to get things done. It is my honor to present Matt Walters with 2017 DGS Values Award. The next award winner was nominated by two different people, and though he has been with DGS for less than two years, he's made the most of his time by taking initiative to improve processes for his fellow employees in the Office of Small Business and Disabled Veteran Business Enterprise Services. First, he revamped the certification officers meeting by creating a charter which gave the group a clear purpose and objective. Even more notably, this awardee saw a need for a tool that would save time and prevent frustration for coworkers. He researched and created a proposal for this tool on top of his regular job duties. The one-click portal that resulted allows certification staff to retrieve data that is needed for application and compliance reviews from, mul from multiple state agency websites without having to access each one separately. His nominator estimates that this portal will save more than $16,000 annual, annually and will reduce staff research time by half and will set the groundwork for other features going forward. She said that this is a win-win-win for state government and for the businesses. His other nominator states that when management supports and allows staff to be innovative, then really great things can be done. So if you click on that, you'll see a drop-down menu. Cesar Gutierrez deserves this Valley's okay. Award for his excellent display of innovation, teamwork, and going above and beyond. He has this curiosity about his job and a mindset to make it better. Cesar identify a problem and a time waster in the application review. His most valuable contribution is to implement a one-click portal that will retrieve data from multiple public agencies to assist the certification staff with their review. This project will result in an annual savings of $16,000 plus, reduce research yes, time the one I was wondering by up to 50%. Construction. They also have um, their um, tax returns. Okay, license board, okay. Yes. Their documents that are required. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's the one I was looking for. Caesar demonstrates accountability by doing what he says he's going to do. And it looks like he organized our counties, support staff and yes, our certification codes, staff. He started words. meetings with them on a regular basis. Yeah, he has them responsible for yeah, individual yeah, items on tasks that he has like assigned the to them. He has a gift of gaining the respect there, and encouraging others as speed. he works with them. Yeah. It's a great gift that he has, and that gift has brought our whole unit together as a whole. Click on the save and continue. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Cesar Gutierrez, winner of the 2017 DGS Values Award. Next up, we have someone for legal affairs. She was nominated in particular for her embodiment of the core value integrity. Her nominator says this awardee never approaches an assignment by telling a client they're pursuing a bad idea and instead looks for ways to solve problems and achieve the client's goal. She helps find options to meet programmatic needs and goals. In other words, she finds ways to say yes whenever possible and goes above and beyond to be responsible, responsive to her clients. She, perform, she performs at a high level of excellence that her clients respect and appreciates. 
I'm looking for an opinion of the Attorney General. Okay, those are right here, um, and they're listed by year. You know Yana Barbu be, is uh, one of our attorneys here in the Office of Legal Services. Among other things, she works on real estate matters and energy savings projects and adverse actions and various odds and ends that I may give her. Fiona hey, deserves the DGS you? Values yeah, Award because she consistently performs at a high level and goes above and beyond to provide advice and counsel to her clients. She helps come up with innovative options for our clients to achieve their objectives and does so with a teamwork spirit. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Fiona performs at a level of excellence that is well respected and appreciated by her clients. She performs her work with the utmost integrity and our clients often comment on how helpful Fiona is and that she's a pleasure to work with. So, Viana, what are the next steps in finalizing this? I can always count on Viana to work on the odds and ends that come up during the week at any time, even if it's an issue that we're not particularly familiar with, and she'll take it and run with it. Congratulations, Viana, and above all, you are a real rock star here in the Office of Legal Services. I'm pleased to present this DGS Values Award to Viana Barbu. Our next award goes to a longtime DGS employee from the Division of the State Architect. He was a key staff member to research, develop, and implement guidelines and protocols for the use of the DSA Box. DSA Box is a secure, cloud-based collaborative solution that allows DSA field engineers and stakeholders to access and control documents and reports. With DSA Box, internal and external stakeholders can share, view, and collaborate in real time in one web-based location. Not only does this save an incredible amount of time since these forms used to be processed on paper and sent in through snail mail, but now external stakeholders can access the information where before they didn't have access to it. This awardee exemplifies innovation. In fact, his nominator says, the role of an innovator can be risky and difficult, yet he sought out constructive solutions to resolve current and future problems. He created an organizational shift and engaged all staff in the work of innovation. They're putting in a new concession stand, so they have to allow for some parking for that. Will Harold is a senior architect here at the Division of the State Architect. He provides plan review for access compliance for schools, K-12, and community colleges, as well as some state buildings. He has great knowledge in technology. His expertise in that has really helped us as a division go forward with how we need to do things in the future. As far as the DGS values, excellence exemplifies Will Harold and what he does. Everything he does, excellence in mind. He also exemplifies teamwork. He's a very team-oriented player, brings a lot to the table, and offers his opinions and his expertise when asked. Will Harold has played an essential role in the development of the Unified Logistics Plan for the Office of Emergency Services. His expertise in construction, engineering, and architectural design has been invaluable. I'm pleased to welcome, after he's come in from his recent retirement and taking a break from that, Will Harold to receive a 2017 GDS Rally Award. Our final awardee for 2017 is presented to a fairly new DGS employee. He's a custodian in our Building Properties Management Region 3, assigned to Franchise Tax Board Building. His supervisor was so impressed by the work he's done in his first few months on the job, he's inspired to nominate him for this award. The supervisor says that in his first week, the awardees complete a difficult task and then ask for a route. So the supervisor gave him one of the most difficult route and he handled it with pride and excellence. According to the nomination, this awardee effectively handled unreasonable requests and demands from customers. As a supervisor for 10 years, to see someone show this high level of accountability and excellence makes me proud to work with him. I have received at least 10 customer compliments about him in the last two months. Exhibiting core values of excellence and accountability, this award recipient takes personal responsibility for the services that he provides to DGS customers and is strategically focused on achieving results.
Bryce Casada is a custodian for the Franchise Tax Board. He's worked for me for about two years and he deserves this award because as soon as he got here, I assigned him to do windows and he really was able to do all these windows in this entire courtyard and the outside building all in one day, nonstop. Elias demonstrates excellence on a daily basis here at Franchise Tax Board. He is always attentive to Franchise Tax Board employee requests. Whenever we have a need for something to be taken care of immediately, he is right there with a smile on his face, always whistling as he does his job. And sometimes it's just amazing how much he enjoys his job here at Franchise Tax Board and we really appreciate everything he does for us. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Pretty good, yourself? Good, good, thank you. Good. Elias has always provided excellent customer service and been responsive to the needs of our employees. It is my honor and privilege to present this 2017 Values Award to Elias Quesada. As you can see, the awardees recognized today truly represent DGS core values. If you know someone who would like to go above, or who does go above and beyond in demonstrating these core values, I hope you nominate them for next year's award. We have these great little playing cards on the internet page, so download them and uh, give them to coworkers who've demonstrated the core values. Um, you can write a little note on them, let them know what they did to demonstrate those core values. As I said, you can uh, get them off, print them off our intranet page. Also, you can get information there about the DGS Values team and try to become a member. Uh, you can just access it from the DGS intranet right there in that tab on the top. DGS Values Award needs members from every division to provide perspective on various projects and initiatives. This event is one of many that Values team is involved with.